President uh, pushed forward a few years ago are not compromising the quality of the automobiles. And these are automobiles, again, that aren't just appealing to the U.S. consumer market, but are appealing to consumer markets across the globe. The industry remains exceptionally important to U.S. exports, being the largest export sector of the U.S. economy, with approximately $125 billion worth of vehicles and parts being exported last year. And estimates conclude that each job created by the OEMs or the original equipment manufacturers, GM, Ford, and Chrysler, uh, and their dealers support six to seven additional jobs, adding up to nearly eight million jobs and $500 billion in annual compensation and $70 billion in personal tax revenue, showing that, again, the U.S. auto industry, while still facing challenges, is of significant importance to the ongoing U.S. economy and certainly to the economy here in the Mahoning Valley. So the manufacturing renaissance, that was also a term that was used uh, in Jeff's slide. And uh, we've <coughs> celebrated, rightfully so, and there are any number of, of projects that we can point out, but I just want to use this project of the Lurk Stars as an example. So we've celebrated it for the investment and the direct and the indirect jobs directly related to the facility itself, and that's wonderful. But understand that there's a larger significance, and Jeff touched on this in his slides, that what's happening at Baluric Star is contributing to the U.S. decline on foreign sources of oil and facilitating the shift of the United States of America to ultimately being a net exporter of energy. You'll see the slide on the left shows that we became, in 2009, 2010, uh, we began to import less oil than we're producing here at home. So a net export of oil, which was something that just five, six, seven years ago was virtually unheard of. The slide on the right shows that we have an opportunity to move to become a net exporter of energy over the next several years. It may take a decade or so, but we are very much closing the gap between the total energy consumed by the United States and the total energy.